the fact that you are consciousness uh, and the fact that this world's an illusion in terms of its physicality and how we perceive it and experience it, you go from it being a concept to it being a, a you. Mm. So it's not outside of you anymore as a concept. You, you basically become it. Mm. And it's, a, it's an incredible, um, it's an incredible feeling because when, when that process happens, the world doesn't affect you in the same way. Yeah. Uh, so you're much more, um, you're much more, it's just an experience than letting the experience um, impact upon you. It doesn't mean there aren't things you'd like to happen and things you don't like to happen, but the, the enormity of the impact is not the same. So you find an equilibrium. How can I say what I've done? You find an equilibrium where you're not darting around emotionally up and down oh that's fantastic oh it's great oh, life's so great oh, no. yeah it's much more you're much more phlegmatic and you know <laughs> when you look at current events um that don't half come in handy because if, if you are if you are only seeing through the five senses and you're only seeing through three score years and ten of a human life and you look at your kids and you look at your grandkids and you think, what the hell is it going to be like for them? You only perceive it at that level. Then it, it, it's, it's a nightmare what's happening. An absolute, absolute nightmare. Yeah. But when you, when you take a step back and you say, look, it's just an experience. There'll be another one along in a minute. And oh, by the way, my kids and my grandkids, they're also a point of attention with infinite awareness. They may have a child's body. And that child's body may be uh, more limited at that point in the way it decodes reality and what it understands. But uh, as as the as the body uh, uh, develops and matures, it's able to process more information, and you become what we call an adult. Um, and at puberty, there's a big uh, uh, kind of advancement of that. We interact as parents and children and grandparents and, and, and grandchildren. And that's, that, that's good. I, I do all the time. I love it. But if you go back one step, we're, we're all, no matter what we call ourselves or perceive ourselves in a certain moment, we're all points of attention within an infinite state of awareness on an infinite journey of exploring forever. And, uh, it, it, it it takes the, not, yeah, yeah it, it does, yeah, yeah, it does take it takes the, a lot of the drama out of it, yeah, and and so you you're able to look at things more dispassionately in the sense that you you don't get caught in the drama, and 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 the drama um, therefore doesn't uh, skew your the, the way that you can observe and see and decide what you need to do in certain situations because once you yeah. get in the drama you stop mm. thinking straight yeah exactly and, but this well, actually, i guess the word that keeps coming to me is you you find a calmness it doesn't mean you're always calm it means you're calm most of the time compared with what you were before <laughs> yeah it's knowing that it's always there that kind of peace that the yeah. other side in a way it's it's always there to access yeah. It's a sort of salvation in a way. Yes, it is. It's, it certainly is now. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean you don't, um, you don't engage with the world. My God, that's, I do it all the time. Trying to make a difference. You're trying to uh, break this stranglehold on information, therefore perception, which this cult is seeking to have. So you do all that because you want it to be a nicer, more pleasant, freer world than it is. But you do it without getting caught in the drama because you know there used to be a um well i guess there still is the repeats it was a um a comedy program on british television it may have been shown america a bit 
called Dad's Army. And it was called Dad's Army because um, during the Second World War, the early years, um, uh, Britain was in a mess. It, it had no organization or anything. So um, they um, engaged uh, people who were either too young to join the army in the war or too old, and they got them to kind of uh, protect the locations around Britain, especially on the, the, um, the East Coast looking out towards Europe and Germany. And they become known as Dad's Army. And uh, so there's this comedy about this. And, I'm, you know, that's just a bit of background. The reason I'm telling this story is there was a character in it called Corporal Jones. And Corporal Jones would, um, when anything happened that was, um, was, was not good, he would jump and run around shouting, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, while doing exactly that. And, of course, while he's saying don't panic, while he's um, caught in the drama, he's not thinking straight. Uh, and in no way can he impact upon um, changing the situation because he can't think how to change the situation. And that's what kind of happens when you get caught in the drum. Uh, and, uh, and I, I, you know, I'm not coming uh, from a point of view of, oh, no, I'm above all this. I, I, I spent many, many years of my life getting caught in the drama. Uh, and it was a great experience because I, I realized I, 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 having done that, I now can feel and experience the difference when you don't do that. But um, that's what uh, re-self-identity does. Yeah. You go from perceiving yourself as, um, as a little insignificant me uh, trying to get from cradle to grave to um, an infinite me having a brief experience yeah. going from cradle to grave. Um, and uh, it's a it's a totally different experience, totally different way of doing things. 